Cedar Rapids, Iowa, a small town with a population barely big enough to fill the Los Angeles Coliseum, is now at the center of a salacious sex scandal. A 24-year-old beautiful substitute teacher at this high school admits to hooking up with one of the students, having sex with him more than 100 times. Mary Beth Haglin is a pretty teacher who always wanted to instruct children. But within just months of achieving her goal, Mary Beth threw it all away by giving one student some very private lessons. How many times did you have sex with the student? It was, I can't even count, perhaps a few hundred times. Now she's telling her side of the story to Crime Watch Daily. The 24-year-old had a bright future. With a degree in English and Spanish, she was awarded the prestigious Fulbright Scholarship. After graduating, Mary Beth became a substitute teacher. And when you started to teach, how did that make you feel? I enjoyed it so much. With subbing, it's a little bit different because you never know what kind of situation you're getting into, especially if it's day-to-day -day subbing. The situation Mary Beth got herself into, a taboo relationship with the 17-year-old high school student. How did you meet the student? This particular student was in my class when I was a student teacher. He was a good student, and I always like to reconnect with my better students. But to say Mary Beth reconnected was an understatement. The young teacher who rotated among different schools one day found herself back at the place where she and the student first met. He saw me again at Washington High School subbing one day. He came in to say hi, and I welcomed that. But that chat in the classroom quickly turned from innocent to indecent, and more than that, downright illegal. He contacted me on Facebook. He was very persistent in his contact. He kept asking me to go to coffee or to go to lunch or just, hi, how are you? Why won't you answer me? Mary Beth claims that at the time she was in an abusive relationship with her then boyfriend. One night after what she calls a particularly horrible episode with her ex, she reached out for comfort from her soon to be teenage lover. When was the first time you had sexual contact with the student? We had gone to a corn maze in a neighboring town, and we went to Beaver Park, which was kind of our hangout spot. We sat in his parked car, and he started kissing me, and he started touching me. After their first encounter, 24-year-old Mary Beth says she and her student are confronted by police as they sat in the car. Did it ever cross your mind, wow, oh my gosh, I just royally screwed myself? Well, to be honest, I didn't have much time to think that because the police actually interrupted us. They thought that I was being raped. I just said, no, this was consensual because it was. Right after the police incident, the forbidden relationship heated up even more. Mary Beth and her teen dream boy rendezvousing for dinner in nearby towns, places they wouldn't be recognized, hooking up at his mom's house when she wasn't home, and of course, at Beaver Park in their mobile love shack, the boy's car. Most teachers want to be positive role models for their students. It's one of the reasons why they get into the profession of teaching. But your vehicle to be that positive role model and shape this kid was to have sex with him? You have to remember that when this was all happening, I didn't see him as a student. I saw this as a real relationship. And like many couples, they had pet names for each other. He would call me his empress. He would call me his lobster, because lobster's made for life. So you called him Baby Kicks, and he called you his empress? Yes. The saucy sub sent sexy selfies to her underage lover. But the romance began to unravel when Mary Beth says he betrayed her and shared the racy snaps with his friends. I sent him a lot and he saved all of them. And then he shared them with all of his friends and they posted them on Twitter. Mark my words, when this student turns 18, I will be prosecuting for sharing all of those nude photos. The provocative photos spread like wildfire, 
their secret relationship exposed. Mary Beth says the kids at school were relentless. They would interrupt class to ask about it. Are you serious? I'm serious. Interrupt class and say what? Come on, Miss Haglin, we know that this is the student. The dangerous liaison was spiraling out of control. Mary Beth claimed she wanted to end it, but was terrified that her young lover would retaliate and tell the school principal. Eventually, word about her extracurricular activities got back to school administrators, but she says they ignored the rumors and so she continued to carry on her relationship with the high school boy. And that may be true, but you're not blaming the school for your having sex with the student. Oh, certainly not. But with her photos flooding social media, the school finally took action. How did you finally get busted? The administration called me down into their office. They started to interrogate me. And by the end, the principal said, well, in light of everything, we are going to ask you to pack up everything, any personal items that you have upstairs, and please leave. Mary Beth was fired from her job, but continued to substitute teach in other school districts. Allegedly, because of a miscommunication, she was not removed from the available teacher list. An oversight Mary Beth disputes. It was not a miscommunication that I was still in the system. Washington High School staff did not let the substitute system know why I should not be in the system. And the district never reported her to authorities or press criminal charges. Crime Watch Daily contacted the school for a comment, but they never returned our calls. He said, don't worry, we're going to get through this. Whether we have to leave town and go to Minnesota or New York or hack even another country. And what's racing through your mind? <laughs> A pretty teacher and a 17-year-old student engage in naughty after-school activities. The sexcapade secretly sizzled for nine months and included racy love letters. I love the way you smell like pizza after a long day of work, and I, it drives me crazy wanting a piece of the crust. Their main rendezvous spot, the teenager's car at a local park. Do you consider yourself a sexual predator? I don't. That was a time in my life that was just so out of character for me and I wholly regret my actions and just the person that I was at that time. But anybody who knows me can tell you that that's not who I am. But the illicit relationship comes to a grinding halt when 24-year-old Mary Beth Haglin is busted. What does your family think of this entire ordeal? My dad cried and my mother yelled at me. They were not happy. After her teen lover's mom goes to police and files a report, the substitute teacher turns herself in. Do you think you were in love with the student? In my mind, I was. We certainly said it often enough to each other. Do you love him today? No. I never want to see him again. So once he turns 18, you're not planning on contacting him? Not at all. Here's Mary Beth in her mugshot, looking plain Jane, wearing specs and a little smirk. Very different from the girl in those selfies, made up with a dramatic cat eye, sticking her tongue out and pouting for the camera. Mary Beth pleaded not guilty, charged with sexual exploitation by a school employee. If convicted, she could face up to two years in prison and spend the next 10 on the sex offender registry. Do you ever think that would be your life? No. I thought that I was going to teach and that I was going to one day get married and have a family. I never thought that I was going to be rich or famous, and now I, well, I have infamy, one thing that I never wanted. After Mary Beth was fired from her teaching job, she worked as a server at a local pizza joint and at a clothing store, but those gigs didn't last long. Yesterday, I found out that one of my jobs isn't even going to let me return. They just said, nope, you can't come back at all. What are you doing now? I'm not working. Well, she is working now, and look where we found her. Working the stripper pole at Woody's, a strip joint along a lonely highway just a few miles from the school where she used to teach. Take a look at this video that we've uncovered of the saucy former substitute teacher perched in a customer's lap and performing for much older pupils. 
And take a look at Mary Beth's other shocking video. This was shot just a few days after she told us she never wanted to see her forbidden lover again. And it's only a few more weeks until my beloved turns 18. And then we can finally be together. I love you, my lobster. So which is it? I'm not convinced the 24-year-old actually wants to end things with the student. So I went to Woody's to ask her myself. So we're outside Woody's, that's where Mary Beth works, and she is under a court order not to have any contact with the student or she goes back to jail. Guess what? We just saw the student go into Woody's. Are they breaking the law for love? My hunch was correct. There under fluorescent lights in the darkened club is Mary Beth and for the first time seen on camera, her student, the couple locked in a deep conversation that lasted for about 30 minutes. But then the newly legal 18 year old abruptly leaves. Could the two have had a lover spat? I catch up with Mary Beth's boy toy as he leaves the club. What are you doing here at Woody's? Here to see Mary Beth? My she, lawyer's name is Ann Brown. She works. You know she's breaking the law by seeing you. She looks for. She works in Cedar Rapids. You can speak to my but, lawyer. But Ann Mary Brown. Beth I is under no a court order not to see you. She I go have to no jail. further comment. No, no, you're a victim of a sex crime. If you would like to discuss anything, you can speak with my lawyer, Ann Brown. Did Mary Beth give you a lap dance? Crime Watch Daily reached out to the student's lawyer, who responded, "No comment." Next up, Mary Beth poured into a leopard bodysuit, exits the club. Hey, come here. Or should uh, we talk to you as Bambi? Which one? Um, let me. Bambi just... or Mary Beth? We know you're under a court order not to have any contact with. <laughs> but he actually was inside today. Yeah, he came in and he found me and he said that he wanted to come back at two. And so I told him and I said, you need to walk me out because I don't want that to happen. But soon a Woody's bouncer tries to boot us out. We're There's, closed, man. That's fine. We're, we're, we're not on your property. And there was a violation of a court order that took, just took place. So just let me finish the question. You pleaded not guilty. But yes. you admitted to having sex yes. with this teenager yes. over 100 times. Sounds guilty. That's the way the court process works, yeah. to bring Probably. it down. Don't, don't worry, we've, I've already interviewed Bambi. Any plans to meet up at Beaver Park, or is it no, that over? No, but no, no, no. Um, no more Beaver Park? No more Beaver Park, but... Is Woody's the new meetup spot? It's not. But here's why I don't fully believe you. Because after we did the interview with you, and I, I flat out asked you, are you still in love with him? Do you care for him? Do you plan to reconnect with him? You said, no, you were repulsed. And then literally, just a few days later, you say, no, you were in love with him, and you were calling him your lobster, and that saying that you guys were gonna rekindle things. How do you feel? I don't know. It's, it's, it's very confusing. It's confusing because of all of those emotions that I had before, and I don't know how I'm supposed to feel now, and I don't want to feel that way. But. So let's say you didn't have a court order. Would you be with him? I don't know. Then Mary Beth, AKA Bambi, is whisked off by Woody's bouncers. Bambi, do you want to answer more? Guess she's done for the night, but the questions are looming. What happens if the judge sees this video? Will she get sent back to the slammer? We do know one thing is for sure. If that happens, Mary Beth will be hanging up that G-string for a jailhouse jumpsuit. Hagland was a substitute teacher who had an affair with her teenage student. She sat down with our Jason Matera to give us seedy details of their affair, even down to their pet names. Well, now Haglin is learning just how much this forbidden romance is going to cost her in jail time. And that's not all. She's embarking on a new and shocking profession. Did you wear any of these outfits for him? No, I didn't get any of these outfits until I started stripping. She's the teacher who went from prim to anything but proper. 
Mary Beth Haglin couldn't find a gig after getting busted for carrying on a steamy affair with a teenage student. What's a girl to do? She turned to stripping. But now the saucy sub has taken it up a notch, or should we say down? She's doing porn, as seen in this clip from a website featuring adult films. So you're gonna do your first adult video today. Mary Beth opening up to the porn cameraman about her naughty romance with her student lover. We can totally talk about the controversy that I have around me. That controversy, a taboo relationship that sexually sparked when the 25-year-old was substitute teaching in the boys' class. The two started having an illicit affair, and like many couples, she tells our Jason Matera they had pet names for each other. He would call me his empress. He would call me his lobster, because lobster is made for life. So you called him Baby Kicks, and he called you his empress? Yes. But the sex capades ended when the student shared Mary Beth's sexy selfies with his friends. It didn't take long for those racy pictures to reach the desk of school administrators who sacked her. Well, let's just say that pictures and videos like these is what got me into trouble in the first place. Yeah. So. Haglin telling Crime Watch Daily the taboo tryst took place in the student's mobile love shack, his car, and of all places, Beaver Park. I remember he just, he started kissing me. Mary Beth told our Jason Matera she had broken it off with the underage student, but we caught the two together at the strip club where she was working. The student was not happy to see our camera. I have no jail. further comment. No, no, you're a victim of a sex like, crime. If you would like to discuss anything, you can speak with my lawyer, Ann Brown. Did Mary Beth give you a lap dance? But Mary Beth is now paying a price for her passion. She was convicted in criminal court of sexually exploiting the student. The evidence proves beyond a reasonable doubt that Mary Elizabeth Haglin is guilty. Mary Beth chose a bench trial, so a judge decided her fate, not a jury. He reached his decision saying Mary Beth knew the victim was a student and the conduct between the two was for the purpose of arousing or satisfying sexual desires. She didn't seem embarrassed to admit any of it to Crime Watch Daily. At her most recent hearing, the judge threw the book at Mary Beth. Judge Kevin McKeever sentenced her to 360 days in jail. All but 90 are suspended. I have considered um, the defendant's age, the opportunity for her to be rehabilitated. As the proceedings unfolded, Mary Beth's mom sat in the court with her head in her hands, being comforted by her other daughter. And in the meantime, Mary Beth will be acting out her sexual fantasies for all of her new fans on the internet.